Hey everybody, BT here from TheOwnersGaming.com, and this is a Final Fantasy week. What's up with um, What's up with Final Fantasy fourteen? A Realm Reborn. Um, uh, as you can imagine, this would normally not qualify because it didn't come out this year. Um, but A Realm Reborn has not been out for too too long so you know, I feel okay with doing this um, I'm currently on my bard level 57 out of 60 um, I don't have all that much further to go in the Heaven's Ward expansion story but I, I stopped for a long time I may finish it I, I may not I do know that they just came out with like a major patch that uh, expanded the story so there's still that stuff. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, A Realm Reborn. Uh, I like the game. Uh, at first I didn't. At first I had very... Almost hateful remarks about the game. But uh, as I played, um, <clears throat> that changed. Um, one of the things that I like about this game is you only need one character. Uh, and you can see here... All the um, classes and jobs that I have levels into. So unlike other games like World of Warcraft where you need alts to be able to do the other classes. You can do it all on the one character. Uh, which is cool. Now today we're actually going to join the Thaumaturge. Um... And I'm probably destroying that name, but we're going to join that guild, and that's going to be our new class. Uh, and we're going to play the new class. Now, to join a class outside of the class, actually to join a class regardless, um, you have to go to the guild receptionist. And it'll always start a quest, so you want to be whatever the guild is. They will then talk to you about the stuff and you say yes. So after you do that, you got to do it again. You will say yes. They will give you the stuff required for the guild. Alright. So now you need to go over here. So you can, uh, wherever over here is, you go to the head person of said guild, and they will talk to you, um, about the guild and give you the stuff for you to start. Sure. Because remember, we need to join the guild. Boom. And now we <clears throat> have officially joined um, the guild. So now let's go to character. Um, okay, so there's that. Now we're going to save this set. Boom. Now we have a set. Although actually, our offhand... Is this not the same? Let me see. Is this the same? It is the same. So we are going to put this on. And we are going to delete our set. Delete set. And we are going to continue on. Boom. <clears throat> now it's registered now. I didn't mean to register it again, but I don't think it did anything. No, it did. All right, we'll put it at the bottom. That's fine. All right, so, boop. This here is our, our item 
level. Alright, <clears throat> so there we go. We now have to talk to the guildmaster again. Yep. Now, at the beginning of every, um, like, the, the beginning parts of every guild are all pretty much the same. Um, they just are. And we're going to go down here. We're not level three, but it might be able to let us get it, so... Yes, okay. Yep, that's fine. And let's get this unholy Matrimony, yep. Let's go down here and do um, Unholy Matrimony real quick. And now we turn in the quest. Boom. That's completed. 50 XP. Already well on our way. But now we gotta go outside the walls of Ulda. Loading times on this computer kill me. Alright, so now we're outside. And it looks like we are going to be taking on something. Marmots. Um, oops, my bad. Boom, and we killed one. We do have an auto attack, but it is of course horrible, so. There you go. Uh, now, look at that. We've already leveled up and we've gained our well, second skill, first from leveling up. Now, the ladybugs are not a part of our quest, but they have that little symbol thing, which actually corresponds to our our hunting log for our class. Uh, and see, if we fill up, if we kill all these, we get whatever the reward for the specific creature is, but we also get even more so it's a good helpful way to level up which is another thing I like about this game but let's go back <clears throat> boom let's start with fire Boom. And I think that's it for them, right? Maybe, no? No, we gotta kill another one. <clears throat> Marmot! Boop. Boop. 
And boop. Of course, these ones are level 1, but if we go a little further out, then they'd be level 2 or level 3. And see, there you go. Bam, now we leveled up. And we completed that one. Oh, there's cactars down there. Okay, so we got all of the bottles of blood. Let's take on a cactar. <clears throat> now, as if you noticed... When I cast Blizzard, I get uh, Umbral Ice, and this is what it does. Um, fire expected spells require less MP, but do less damage. MP region is uh, faster. Now, if you do fire, it's, uh, you know, fire spells cost more, but they do more damage, and ice costs less, but they do less damage, and MP Regen is down. So essentially, it, it forces you to balance the way you play. Alright, so we need to go... Potion, here you go. Let's, we're gonna put that up there. Do we have any ethers? Regular ethers? We got X ether, there we go, and ether. Um, plus, what is this good for? We'll have chicken. We're gonna eat. Eat. There you go. Now we have well fed bonus. Um, cactar, go. Try to get that chain bonus to stay. Look at that. Leveled up again. Alright. So... Now that we did that, we're going to go back into Uldah and go out one of the other exits. So each guild, class, whatever you want to call them, they all have uh, specific locations. Like the Thermotage is um, here in Uldah, the Gladiator is here in Uldah, and there's another one that's in Uldah. There's um, a couple in Limsa Lamosa. Um, and there's a couple in um, the Shroud, which Archer and Archer, um, the, well, geez, let me look. All right, so <clears throat> the Pugilist, the Rogue, and the Arcanist, I think, are all in Limsa Lamosa. Gladiator, um, Gladiator. Thermaturge and the Marauder are here in Ulda. And the Archer, the Lancer, and the Conjurer are in the Shroud. Um, these jobs down here are new additions with Heaven's Ward. Um, you don't actually, like, for these jobs, which are um, kind of correspond with Soul Crystals, for the other ones, for, like, the ones that you could be for these classes, you actually have to be um, level 30 in one of them and 15 in another. Um, for these, you do not have to be anything in any of them, um, but it can help. Um, so you get Dark Knight, Machinist, Astrologian. Machinist uses guns. Dark Knights use like 
chaos and anger and blood and stuff like that. And Astrologian uses cards uh, and does magic stuff with said cards. Uh, as you can see here, you have um, classes that are proficient in building and making things. Uh, and then you have these classes where you mine or you get said wood and said um, other items for these other classes. And fishing is... Fishing kind of helps, uh, obviously, Culinarian, but also several of the other ones. And several of these help, these and these. So it, it's a nice weaving effect. Anyways, we're here where we need to be. So let's do get out our staff. And let's take on a hornet. Of course, it has to be a hornet. Um, I don't know what happened there. I think I canceled it. But that's okay. We're gonna go further down because... Um, they should be stronger further out. Does not seem to be the case right now, but... Yeah, I know. I, I interrupted that. Boom. Dead. <clears throat> I'm not... I, I think we have to go somewhere else. Um, yet again... Look at that. See, look. Hunting log, we finished. Uh, where now? Are they over here? Yeah, they have to be. It can be... That's the only thing they could be, is the shrews. Alright. So, snapping shrew, here we are. So, now we are going to destroy the snapping shrew. So we can finish this quest. Look at that. So we're almost done, and since I dislike bees so much, we're going to destroy the bees until I level up. Oh, we're so close. Boom. And we leveled up. Dun, dun, dun. Yay! Alright, now let's go back. Um, to Ulda, so we can uh, turn in the quests and see what's uh, next for us. And now we're back. Now we can turn in. Turn in this. Uh, see this symbol here? This symbol means that you can play this person in Triple Triad, which uh, I will be talking about in a post. And yes, I've, I've brought the blood. What do you mean? There you go. So at yep, level five. So they go up every five levels <clears throat> until you hit a certain point and then they stop. Yep. Sorcery blasted bird flesh. Mmm. Doesn't that just sound delicious? 
Why, why would you ever want to eat chicken or turkey again? When you could just have, you know, ice and fire blasted bird. Specifically vulture. Alright, so now we get to go to the Silver Bazaar and uh, take on this trial. And this is pretty much your life uh, of a new new guild initiate. And here we are. So we're going to put the dried fish. We're going to go over here and hide. And now we're going to attack. And we killed it. <laughs> Indeed. This is pretty much the beginning of Final Fantasy XIV <clears throat> for every class. Uh, and, you know, that's just how that goes. So, <clears throat> when you do these quests, you get uh, experience, uh, usually an item, and then you usually get a choice. Um, I'm going to actually go with uh, the robe. And then I can come back here when I'm level 10, I believe. Mm. Yep, level 10. So every five, every five levels. Uh, and that's, you know, how this thing goes, like I said. Um, but later on, you can do uh, many things. And it gets better and better as you go on. You, you actually see the progress. You actually fill in these spots. And then you can add things up here. You can move things around and... It, it's fun. 